Several parts of the country, including Colombo, continued to experience heavy rainfalls today, with the highest rainfall of 90 mm being reported from Bataclo. Taking the prevailing weather patterns into account, the Irrigation Department warned of possible minor floods in the country amidst the continuous rise of water levels in some rivers, including Gin, Nilwala, and Kalu. Avadaning city to Matamaka, Kelniganga, Pavatinama, Visheshema, Visavelin, Pahala Pradeshavala, Atanagalu Edronia, Pahala Pradeshola, Gangudruta Pavatina, Tate Sambandi, Mi Pradeshola Patinchi, Mahajanata, Yagame, Mi Pradeshara, Gamankarana, Ratavahan Redurmatun, Visheshema, Turmarga Bavitakan Redurmatun, Metate Sambandi, that is Salekil looking at you to Galuti, Visheshema, Yataviati Marga Haraha, Gamanki Reaming, Velaki City, Mavada, Sudusui. Against this backdrop, several areas in Colombo continue to experience heavy rainfall today. <laughs> Meanwhile, some roads and lowlands in the Gaul district were reportedly inundated owing to the overflowing of the river again. Further floods were reported in Talhagoda and Panadugam areas as a result of the overflowing of the Nilvala River, while the Akuras Atrale area continued to experience floods today. Subsequently, the Rakava Road in Hambantara continued to be inundated following the heavy rainfall. Moreover, the Atlugama Kimantudava Road and the Kolamadriya Dillania Road were reportedly inundated due to the increase of the water level of the Kalu River. Due to the occasional rains encountered in the upper catchment areas of the Kaluganga, many lowlands in the Ratnapura area remained inundated and traffic on several routes in the area were also disrupted. In the meantime, following the rise of water levels of the Kalni River, several lowlands of the area continue to remain inundated. Against this backdrop, as per the reports of the Disaster Management Center, a total of 15,496 people from 3,672 families in Ratnapura, Kalutara, Gampaha and Matra districts remain affected due to the heavy rainfall. Accordingly, the highest number of families affected following the current weather patterns were reported from the Gampaha district, recording a total of 2,153 families comprising 9,509 individuals. Further, the Ratnapura district, meanwhile, reported the lowest number of families and individuals affected by the heavy rains, amounting to 214 families, comprising 827 individuals. Following these developments, the National Building Research Organization extended the landslide warnings issued to eight districts. Accordingly, landslide warnings were issued to Gaul, Matara, Hambantota, Kalutara, Kandy, Kegol, Matale, and Ratnapura districts. Due to continuous rainy conditions and the weather forecast issued by the Department of Meteorology, the landslide early warning message has been extended in the following areas. Warning level 2 alert amber warning was issued to Nelua Division of Secret Division Gold District, Ingeria Division of Secret Division Kaltara District, Pasbaya Korle Division of Secret Division Kandy District, Kotapola and Pitabadra Division of Secret Division Matra District, Ayagama, Palmadula, Kuruvita, Kalavana, Ahnegoda, Kiriala, Ratnapura, Alapata and Nivitigala Division of Secret Division in Ratnapura District. In in addition to that, warning level 1 watch yellow warning was issued to Sitavaka Division Secret Division Kalambu District, LPTA Division Secret Division Gold District, Walasmula Division Secret Division Hamantara District, Walalavita Matugama Agalavata and Buddha Singala Division Secret Division in Kalthara District, Ruanwella Dehivavita Kegol Darnegala and Yatiantota Division Secret Division in Kegol District, Mulatian and Atulia Division Secret Division Matra District, Imulpe and Colonna Division Secret Division Ratamal District. The Department of Meteorology, meanwhile, said that showers or thunder showers are likely to occur in the western, Sabaragamua, southern and northwestern provinces and in the Kandy and Nurelia districts.